Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze again this important breakout that Bitcoin had here out of this $12,000 resistance and what is the next uh, target here. Before we start, remember that we still have this special Bybit bonus going on for this month. So if you signed up with my referral link that you find down below here in the video description, from now on you can put this voucher code in the rewards hub and with your deposit up to 0.3 Bitcoin, you can get up to $180. So definitely take this free money. And also if you're trading on Femex, make sure that you register to the trading event that is going on right now. You can follow this link that you find down below here if you need more information and also if you want to join my trading team and if you don't have yet a Femex account make sure to use my referral link down below here to open up an account with my link you can get $80 sign up bonus all right my friends and now let's start here with the content because here in the one hour time frame we can clearly see that bitcoin is holding here this 20 moving average we are bouncing successfully from this moving average and as long as we are having this 20 moving average currently at twelve thousand dollar as a support i'm expecting here continuation up to 14 thousand dollar of course there is a very high chance that we also could see a possible pullback before we're reaching that target because all the indicators right now are looking a bit toppy and also in my own indicator i'm getting in all time frames with exception the weekly time frame some sell signals so be very careful if you're scaling in here longs because if you go with high leverage there is a very high chance that you could get stopped out or liquidated in case of a major pullback but for now it looks like that we're gonna see here continuation to the upside at least to possibly test this $12,500 top that we had so far and potentially also go higher towards 14k and why Bitcoin is pumping like this well very simple the DXY is still plunging here we are falling off the cliff and since we lost here this fight with the main resistance of $94 it looks like that the DXY is in free fall and we potentially could go even down towards this $94 $91 bearish target of the DXY of course during the way down there we're gonna have here some breeders to the upside which could lead into a smaller correction in the Bitcoin price but overall the DXY is starting to look really really bearish even though there are some buy signals in the lower time frames but overall since we are still trading in this range here between 94 and 91 dollars and we still couldn't break out here to the upside from this resistance I think the DXY is looking even way more bearish than expected it. And we can also have a quick look into the Bollinger Band because currently we are trading on the top area. So a possible retracement back down to the middle line here of $12,000 is still in the cards before maybe we have a retest of $12,500 and potentially even go to 14 k So if you want to take a long position, then maybe wait for a 12 k retest and also confirmation that this is now our new base and our new support. And now let's switch over into the 4-hour time frame because here very important is the 20 moving average right here at $11,800 and the more times passes the higher this moving average is coming to our possible new support up here at $12,000 this needs to be confirmed in order to have the confirmation that 12k is the new support and we could see a big bounce here towards our next big target of 14k as soon as we are able to take out this high that we had here at $12,500 you can also see that currently the RSI is very overbought also my own indicator is not giving a sell signal right now but most likely in the very close future here we're gonna have a possible pullback towards the 20 moving average or maybe even towards the 200 right here at 10,970 but overall even though we could see a major pullback we should be here heading towards a 14k because that is now the next logical target here in case that we are really able to push higher than $12,500. Here I'm expecting some resistance also in the past 14k was a very strong resistance and only if we are able to break out here to the upside so as soon as we're going to break out to the upside from this channel that we are in here then i'm expecting here to reach 20k very very soon and if we have a look into the dxy you can see that currently we are completely falling off here from all the possible supports here at 9250 we had in the past here a lot of resistance and support points but as soon as this one is getting broken i'm expecting another big move to the downside potentially 
towards $91. Also, my own indicator currently is not showing a buy signal, so we could stay in this area for quite some time. Only the RSI now is coming into complete oversold condition. And the Bollinger Band in the Bitcoin price currently is also still overshooting to the upside. Also, we have all the indicators shifted to the upside, so we are expecting here continuation to the upside, even though we could see a possible correction and the retest of this 12K area mm -hmm. potentially even go towards 11,700 before we're gearing up for a next move but since we are starting to look very bullish and even in the lower time frames I don't think that we will go way lower than 12k here in the next couple of hours and possibly from there we're gonna have another big leg up towards this retest of 12,500 and then potentially also break it and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because here you can see this clear channel that we have here where we have a clear support since march here this blue trend line here you can see we bounced off this line a couple of times and currently we have another healthy bounce from it and i'm expecting here all the continuation towards the top here of fourteen thousand dollar even though we are still very overbought here in the rsi and also in my own indicator it looks like that we could be starting to top out but that doesn't mean that we have to go straight back down here towards 10,800 right now so we still could start to trade sideways here or maybe after cooling off the indicators to have another last leg up here towards 14k here if you are in a long position maybe you could start to take some profits or at least put a stop loss in case that we're coming back down here to the main support where you can start to scale in again long positions because remember even though we could even lose this support here and fall off the cliff here towards the 200 daily moving average currently at 10k we still could go down to retest this old resistance line which now should be new support and this is currently lining up perfectly at 9 Okay, so even if you start here to scale in longs at $10,800, you should be able to keep alive your trade, even if we would see the most bearish scenario right now that we go down to test this 9K area and at the same time also close all the CME gaps that we still have down below here towards 9K. Because if we have a look here into the CME chart, you can see that currently the 200 daily moving average is right at 9,500. So here the 200 daily moving average is a bit lower than in the spot chart and if we would come down here to test the 200 daily moving average here on the CMEs this would also close the CME gap and therefore we could see this possible gap filling and then the continuation to the upside towards new all-time highs. So in the CME chart, we have different moving averages than in the spot market. That is because here we are not trading during the weekends and we still have these future gaps opened below of us. And that's why I think as long as these gaps are open, there is still this risk that we could come down to close these gaps. But of course, no one knows when this will happen. It is also possible that for the next couple of years, we will not go and down to close them. But maybe in the next bear market, we're coming down to these price levels again. Everything is possible with the CME gap so you cannot just trade based on these CMEs but there is still this risk that we could go down even right now to test here the 200 daily moving average in the CMEs and also close these gaps before we're heading again towards 12k and higher but if you're anyway prepared for all scenarios if you also have some fiat on the sideline that you are able to buy back into Bitcoin if we see a possible crash towards $9,500 you should be doing fine but make also sure that you have enough Bitcoin already accumulated right now because if Bitcoin is starting to go skyrocketing here towards 20k and higher it will be too late and you probably will start to FOMO in once the price is breaking 20k and go way higher so make sure that you already now have an accumulated enough bitcoin that you don't have to fomo wherever the price is going but at the same time also if the price is starting to fall off the cliff here that you have enough fiat also to buy some more bitcoin with cheaper prices because that could be really the last opportunity for you and if we have a look into the dxy here although you can see the confirmation that right now we are still in this bear market we are trading below all the moving averages here in the daily so i still think there is maybe a chance that we could go one day up to test the 200 daily moving average currently at 97 dollars and that of course would lead into a possible crash in the bitcoin price and also in the stock market but as i told you this could be just a short-lived crash like we have seen in march and then immediately a recovery 
but as long as we are trading here in this falling wedge in the DXY and we don't have a clear breakout to the upside or to the downside, we cannot 100% confirm that we will not see any more a crash in the Bitcoin price. Only if the DXY would crash down here below the support of $91, then I would say yes, we will not see 9K within the next couple of years and we will most likely go directly to the moon. But as long as the DXY is trading in this in theory bullish pattern and could have a breakout towards the 200 daily moving average i'm still a bit afraid that we could see a potential 9k in the bitcoin price coming up before we are definitely bottoming out and we're going towards new all-time highs and we can also have a quick look into the weekly time frame in the bitcoin price because currently the weekly is still looking very bullish and the 20 weekly moving average is still here along the support of $10,600. So this is usually a good buying point if the price is coming down to this moving average in case that you're still waiting for good prices to buy Bitcoin. Only if something major is going to happen like a big crash or something then watch out for the 50 weekly moving average currently at 9k or potentially even the 200 weekly moving average at $7,000. But everything you're going to buy between here the 200 and the 20 weekly moving average will be a perfect entry if you're waiting for better prices but as i told you my friends even now it's still not too late to buy bitcoin even if we go towards 20k because at the end you will be doing fine doesn't matter what price you're buying the only problem is that the cheaper the price goes the more bitcoin you can afford so if you have a limited budget then of course you're looking for cheaper prices but don't wait for bitcoin to reach like three or four thousand dollar we will not see those prices anymore the worst case scenario in my opinion is still here to reach the 50 weekly or maybe the 200 weekly here so between 7k to 9k but i don't think we will ever see lower prices than that and also if we go over into the bollinger band in the weekly we can see that currently we are still trading in the upper area so we we didn't touch here the top but you can see that twelve thousand six hundred dollar is currently the top of the bollinger band and it is very likely that we're going to retest this top that we had over here and there we're gonna have to see if we're able to push through or not in case that we are able to take out twelve thousand five hundred dollar then watch out for 14k because that is my next bullish target which in my opinion also will be most likely the next top before a major correction so 14k is still very likely to be reached maybe even within this week let's see the good thing is that we're closing weekly candles above the middle line here so above ten thousand five hundred dollar and that is of course very bullish for the long term so even though we could for a couple of days go below 10k again at the end important is that the weeklies are closing here above 10,500 and this is what we are also doing here since we bottomed out here in March. So the conclusion is my friends buy as much bitcoins as possible especially with every dip so don't panic sell and also if you are taking profits then make sure to rebuy once we are gonna have another correction because you definitely don't want to miss out once Bitcoin is starting to moon rocket here so only take profits if you really are sure that we will see lower prices again and you can buy even more Bitcoin. Don't sell it to accumulate fiat that is the worst idea because if you have a look here into the DXY this is starting to look really bearish and here we have still a lot of room left to fall here towards the next possible support here of even $90 and if this one is lost then watch out here for this $80 area and that of course would lead into a big big pump in the Bitcoin price and you don't want to miss out on that because all the currencies even the US dollar if you zoom out like here in the monthly time frame you can clearly see that we are in a downtrend since its inception and that's why never accumulate fiat always put your money in something like Bitcoin. And with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Don't forget that if you need to buy Bitcoin or trade Bitcoin up to 100x leverage, down below here in the video description, you find all the exchanges that I recommend you. And also with my links, you can get some rewards. And please join also our free Discord trading chat. You find the link down below here and also my channel over on Twitch. You can follow me also over there. So thank you very much for watching, my friends. Don't forget to moon up the likes and also subscribe to the channel to get these daily TA videos. So thank you very much for your support, my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>